uh, delegates in conference. I'm Anu Waklu. And I'm Srilata. Uh, it's really ironic that uh, in a country like India, where we've had a woman prime minister, a woman president, and we worship women as goddesses the world over, <laughs> there is so much violence and abuse against women. So today, we are really going to be presenting what is the award-winning work of our clubs in India in response to this. So I'm joined with some of my friends, uh, you know, from the four uh, clubs that we are representing. So if you look at, uh, you know, what's, uh, this is the format of the presentation. So the gravity of rape and sexual abuse in India is horrific. Uh, you know, uh, I think, some of you might have heard about the Nirbhaya gang rape, which happened to a young educated girl in a moving bus in the capital of our country. It happened in 2012, and it really, really shook our joint consciousness. And if you again look at statistics, you'll find that every five minutes, one case of abuse against women is reported. And this is reported, so you can imagine how much is unreported. So, these are the statistics around which we as a country are, you know, we are faced with. And as Sir Optimist, we really felt that this is important for us to take a stand because human rights is, as a Sir Optimist, we believe in it and we want to make a difference here. So what did we do as a country and what did we do as uh, the clubs that are represented here? So the clubs, that four clubs, the award-winning clubs, uh, they decided to work around two areas. The first one being educate and build awareness, because until we don't do that, we're not going to be able to move ahead. And the second one is really about em empowering and enabling, building the courage, the skills in young girls and in students to be able to handle such issues. So what I'm really going to be doing is I'm going to run through uh, the presentation first of uh, our club in Bangalore. And in Bangalore, what we did as a club was we decided to focus a lot on, uh, you know, building the awareness of young children about uh, what is good touch and what is bad touch, because that's where the starting point is really um, happening. And uh, what we really did is we did a number of uh, sessions, we did a number of skits with young children, and in those skits we took them through instances of how to discriminate between good and bad touch. We also did some sessions on self-defense to kind of uh, educate them on the same. There's been a very, very good response to these uh, initiatives, and what we are really looking at is that how do we scale it up. SI Chennai, our other club, focused on empowering young girls to build healthy relationships. And we partnered with another organization and we've covered about four batches of 180 girls in the age group of about 18. And all these girls were taught about gender discrimination and what they can do in order to move on it. Our club, which is SI Kodai, uh, we have a Namaste. small film. I'm Sai Geeta Anjali, PSE Officer Optimist International Kodekna. We are honored to present one of our effective projects. We have focused on domestic violence as part of our project Wake Up. Women acting in Kodekna to educate and uplift. This has involved a successful Women's Day petition towards a women's police presence to address women's issues in Kodekna. A V-Day seminar for affected women with a panel of experts to address specific concerns. And skits and workshops conducted by our members to multiple groups of women, which has to date benefited approximately 3,000 women and girls. Here is a small sample presented um, so I'm skipping the sample because we're running out of time. Uh, uh, SI Pune Metro East uh, had an interesting way. They actually reached out to children, they reached out to educators, and they reached out to parents. And that was a really, really interesting thing they did. So we did workshops for children, we did workshops for parents, we created modules and empowered teachers and educators to really work on it. So again, uh, this was pretty interesting, large number of people being addressed. So what is the overall impact? 
Um, I'm very, very happy to say that this is where we are today. We have over 10,000 children who have been addressed in some way through one of the initiatives, 3,000 girls sensitized, three modules being prepared, and a huge amount of awareness in, in the public. So I'd like us, all of us, to join us in India to work together to create a world of gender equality, a world that works for us all. Thank you very much, and may I invite you to give a big hand to my friends there who've actually done the workshops. <laughs>